Ready? We recorded that? Yeah. Oh no. Hello everyone. Thank you. Morning everyone. No. Uh, no. Why <laughs> can't we have morning? Because it's not the morning. Why is it? It is morning. Good morning everyone. Welcome to another video. Can we do another one? You can do another one. You're laughing aren't you? No, I'm not laughing. <laughs> Dom said to get here early because he's got a surprise for me. <laughs> morning everyone. <laughs> I'm already. <laughs> Dom told me to get here early. He's not here. He's just finally me, told me to get the roller shutter up, so I don't know what's happening. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you for joining us. I'm on the way to the workshop. John has just texted me, he's already there. This is a bit of a surprise for him. I've got a new car. Top marks for anybody uh, that can guess what car this is. I will admit, it's got some issues. But hopefully, we're gonna sort them out in this episode. Morning. I've got a new car. What do you think? Another project? No, this one's not a project. Thank God for that. Get it in. A Land Rover Defender. Wow. I'm now a Defender <laughs> owner. <laughs> what, what an idiot. What have I done? A true Land Rover Defender ownership, it's already broken. It's, uh, it's got some issues, unfortunately. It's lost its brake fluid. I don't know where it's gone. So we need to get uh, Sherlock, Sherlock John, John, John Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> John going home. Let's do some detective work to figure out where the brake fluid's going because I, I've topped it up twice and it's, going, it's leaving us somewhere, I don't know. Um, to add to that, I've just realized the passenger door lock is sticking. So the central locking doesn't unlock the passenger door and the horn doesn't work. Because I tried to beep when I arrived. Did it, did you hit, did it didn't beep? Yeah, no, it beeped, it beeped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this episode, we're gonna be taking the brakes apart on my new Defender. We've literally just got it. Thanks, Dom. <laughs> Dom. It's here somewhere. <laughs> See, we don't practice anything first. All right. Look at that, they've squeezed that in. I think it's a transit engine. That wouldn't surprise me. Well, I can see the area you've been playing with. Oh, I haven't been playing anywhere. When did you last top it up, though? Hello? I've looked around the car, laid underneath it, had a proper look, can't see any of the hoses or hard lines or anything, any of the calipers are all dry. Everything's dry. The only sign of something wet that I could see was worryingly under the ABS pump but near the master cylinder oh my god Dom you do make it easy don't you an ABS pump is £3,000 oh. so I, and I, I couldn't get hold of one I don't have one of those I thought maybe we should actually get John to look at it and decide if it actually is that first but I did go ahead and order a master cylinder and a servo well let's hope it's that then this could be an expensive day for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Land Rover. But, yeah. <laughs> that is soaking wet down that bulkhead. It is absolutely pouring out. Well, yeah, there's a whole reservoir of brake fluid. Yes, there is. Down there. I mean, I'm going to get my armbands on and go for a swim. There's so much brake fluid. Right. Okay, let's get the bonnet off. Because we know all about this. If we'd have done you. Up, up, up. If we'd have done a homework. Lift it up. Keep going up and over. Oh, that's it. Yeah, this is our brake reservoir, the thing that keeps emptying on DOM. So that holds, that's the tank for the fluid? Yeah, so that's the, the tank, the reservoir. Underneath that is our brake mass cylinder. There's where those hard lines are going into. These two here, it should shoot off to our ABS pump there. ABS pump is in there. That big expensive item, DOM really doesn't want it to be. Yeah. Um, this is our booster or servo. What does that do? That assists our brake. What do you mean? So you know when we push the brake and the car stops? That is because of this. So it sort of multi does it mu multiplies your leverage of the oh, pedal? Oh, Dom, look at you go. You can say it, you can take it. No, can, no, I go think on. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Go on, what does it do, John? Yeah, it does exactly what Dom just said. <laughs> In the good old days, you didn't have these, so the harder you push, the quicker you stop. Um, but now it 
it's all making it nice and easy for us, isn't it? So okay, master. So master cylinder off first. Master cylinder off. Then we'll see if our servo's got any brake fluid in it. Get that off as well. Get it if all it out. Hasn't way. got any brake fluid in it. We're probably still going to have to get it out of the way to access this. Yeah. Liquidy wet mess I can see underneath it. So. Right. Well, let's get it all off then. As you say it like it's easy. That does not look easy. Oh yeah. I was hoping to draw it out without removing the two feed pipes, but they're coming off. They're coming off. Normally you just pull this vacuum pipe off and then have a look inside, but that'd be too easy. It looks like it's a twin servo, so that might not reveal everything. I'm doing it. Go on, John. <laughs> With your one hand. <laughs> I'm not removing it. Go on, John. <laughs> just slide it out. <laughs> just, slide it. just slide it out, John. I'm slide it out. Slide it out, John. I want to slide it out, John. But it doesn't want to slide out, John. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go on. Yes. Look at this. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, my life. Oh, sticker kit inside. No. Look. Sticker? Look. The workshop manual's here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, some light reading. <laughs> oh, Dom, you're fully in now. What other treats have you got in there? That's the master. That's, is that the master? Yeah. Hopefully the servo. Big thank you to Land Rover Center for being so helpful because I called them up in the week, completely clueless, and they were really, really helpful sorted out shipping next day everything's turned up we don't know if it's right yet but that would entirely be my fault not their fault so. <laughs> lamb rover center thank you very much anybody out there with a defender get on their website do you want an actual pry bar yeah i love one but he's going in with a screwdriver <laughs> oh hey. wow it was, it was held in by a vacuum <laughs> <laughs> excuse me the end of the master cylinder and inside the servo look very dry. Yeah, that is worrying. Because I was hoping that would be all wet and leaking and that's where the fluid's going, but it's not. Which is, more and more things are pointing towards ABS pump. the ABS pump. I've got a couple of bolts holding it on, a couple of nuts, sorry. And the servo is connected to the brake pedal, so we need to disconnect that. Otherwise, it yeah, ain't gonna come out. Dom, are we friends? Are we friends, Dom? Depends if you drop that clip inside there. That could happen. <laughs> Don't drop the oh, light. Oh, not the new torch. There's basically a, a rod that goes out, comes out the servo that links to the pedal, and there's a pin with a little clip. Is it a split pin? Or it is a split pin. It's a split pin. There you go. He's trying to get the split pin out. Ta -da! Oh, he's got it! Hey! Hey! Oh, that was stuck on. That was stuck on. There it is. Looks fine, Dom. Looks absolutely fine. Oh dear. Now we're getting somewhere. I just touched the lead going to the motor on the pump and I'm covered in it. The mystery continues. The mystery that we're... Dun, dun, dun. The mystery of the missing brake fluid oh, continues. Doesn't it? Watch this space. As John dives deeper into whatever. <laughs> into, the into, the <laughs> into the unknown. Into the unknown. Wires of, everywhere. Oh, dear hoses oh dear. everywhere. Get the electrician on the phone. Oh, we are. We're in a tissue right everywhere. Should we get brother Dan back? Dan, all is forgiven. I just walked down the road. I had to walk to Sainsbury's yes. to get lunch because the car's dead. Um, and in that time, John has been beavering away. I um, am in a complete pickle. Sherlock is getting slightly, uh, slightly yeah. closer to solving the mystery. I think I'm very close to getting it out. I've undone wires. There's wires everywhere. Got a bit of a puzzle. This is definitely bigger than the hole it needs to come out of. I mean, it don't come out, we'll probably end up pulling the wing. But hopefully not. <laughs> the powers of 
sehen. Oh. Oh my god. It's massive. Thank you, Tom. The struggle is real. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life. Oh! Oh! It's like. Okay, I can only mess up birth in a cow. <sighs> what? How? How was that? How was that? No, it's how? How was You're I making know? a fuss over no, nothing. I don't know. Oh. Look at that. That can only be the fluid leak, surely. Look at it. That's the bottom. That's the bottom. And that, sadly, is where things came grinding to a halt for at least two weeks, I think. I've been, honestly, scouring the internet, looking on forums, trying my best to find either a, re a replacement ABS pump or getting that one rebuilt. First option was trying to get that one rebuilt. I've called about eight or nine different companies over the last few weeks to get it rebuilt and nobody will do it. The make of ABS pump is quite uncommon and any of the companies that usually rebuild these things don't have the relevant software or whatever you need to, to rebuild them. Luckily, in true Matt Armstrong fashion, I have found a brand new second-hand one. One popped up on eBay. The, the part numbers all match. It's a year or two newer, but it's exactly, well, fingers crossed, it looks exactly the same. The ABS pump has got an electronic brain, like an ECU, like a, a brain, basically, in it. That needs to talk to the rest of the brains in the car. The replacement ABS pump that I've got has a different brain in it, which is not going to talk to the rest of the car. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to do a brain transplant. But if I could take the electronic part from my original one, put it on the mechanical part of the other one, in theory, I think it will work. John doesn't know that yet, though. <laughs> um, that really does look like, when I look here, that the fluids come from between that, the bit we're about to remove. One, nobody makes his pumps. <laughs> Two, it's one year only. Three, it controls the entire ABS system, possibly ignition, steering, God knows what else. And we're going to take it apart. Exactly. I'm scared. Ah! Oh. Well, he didn't want it to come off, Dom. <coughs> Don't do it, John. Oh, wow. We're going into unknown territory. Yeah, but it's exciting, isn't it? Well, you know, it's a bit scary, bearing in mind no one repairs them. I can't find anyone to repair them. So, if no one repairs them, what are we? And when a new one is £3,000, but they're not available. What, what do we think we're going to achieve? <laughs> oh, no. It's crunching. Yeah, that's what worries me. It shouldn't be crunching. Oh, oh I don't like that noise. <laughs> Oh. oh, what was that noise again? Maybe it's just my knuckles. They're all solenoids. Maybe this is why no one touches them, eh? Well, it must have, someone must have put it on there. That's it, pop, pop. Suction. And oh dear, oh dear, what have we done? <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> that's a lot more complicated than I was expecting. Holy moly. Let's have a look. This is what I was expecting to see. The fingers. Yeah, and now look, that's broke off, mate. We broke it, we broke it. It's clearly gonna be one of those days, isn't it? So this was the ABS pump that's off of the vehicle. We thought we would start there because potentially the one that I bought, the reused one is whole and complete and hope potentially functional. gonna, you know, functional. So we've attacked the one that we know is broken, and uh, we've broken it more. <laughs> we've, uh, we've written that off. <laughs> yeah, now it's definitely broken. <laughs> Scrap. I had no idea what was going to be inside. Apparently, lots of servos, lots of prongs, and importantly, electrical connections, which are now no, long, no longer connected. Solenoids, as opposed to servos, though. Did I say servo? Oh, sorry. sorry, solenoids. Thanks, John. Good job you're here. I think one of them was stuck, um, which, to be fair, could well be why it was broken in the first place, because one of the solenoid, solen solenoids, solenoids yeah. was stuck. Um, so that wouldn't let it out. And as it did come out, it's pulled the wires off the back. So that now we can confirm is 
scrap. Absolute scrap, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the new one is going in as a complete unit, pump and brain all in one, which is good in some ways because we haven't got to split it and take it apart, no, but we bad. Got to break it. We haven't got to break it. <laughs> but bad because when we actually get it in, we may have some brain problems. Yeah, we may have to program it, but let's see. It's of that that is we might be all right. 50-50 at the moment. I've got no clue, well, really, if it's going to work. But we've got an MOT garage down the road that will, are willing to lend us their scanny what's it if we need it. But that's a long way off. Let's, uh, one thing at a time. Now we know we've broken that. That's confirmed. We can start fitting the good used Good, let's, let's do it. But this here, this is obviously where our brake fluid has been coming out. So the brake fluid was leaking out there, down there, down there, Through and this is the bottom. Two little channels. So they even put two little channels. For it to escape. Yeah, so I don't know if I was expecting a leak. <laughs> Starting to understand why Money. None of the rebuild people. <laughs> yeah, why none of the rebuild people wanted to actually touch it. It's, like, it's very complicated. Yeah, it does. It, it doesn't. No. Yeah. Anyway, well, I'll put this to one side. We'll Not forget, the finest hour. No, we'll forget this ever existed. We'll move on. We'll make a coffee. I'm you know. just going to take the anchor. Yeah, quick. <laughs> just hide this. I'll take. I'll throw this one across the car park. <laughs> First of all, we've got to make this sorry giant unit fit that little hole. Yeah. The um, masses doesn't add, not add up there, really, John. That does look twice the size. Oh, oh, oh I can hear the paint chipping off. Oh, no, that's it. Totally remember this from last time. Someone's going to tell me, just take the pedal box out of the way and it'll go in easy. Why don't you, well, there's more bo more stuff to undo. We're trying to put it back together. Yeah, I don't really want to take any more out if I can help it. Right, whilst John is working away on the nuts and bolts of getting that pump fitted i thought i'd come and show you my new tool it's a brake bleeding pressure kit i've always just had me in the car pumping 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 and someone else on the nipple kind of on the bleed nipple on the brakes being like yep yeah, hold it down okay let go okay pump it pump it pump it <laughs> it's, it's like, there must be a better way it's essentially like a pumping uh, tool that you use in your garden to spray sort of like um pesticides and things which you shouldn't use that's not good for the bugs and the, and the wildlife fill it with brake fluid fill the reservoir in the car with brake fluid, screw on the cap, then pump it up, and that basically pressurizes the fluid and pushes it through. So then all you have to do, in theory, is go around to each wheel, there's a little sort of a bleed nipple, which you undo, and then when you undo it, it allows the fluid to come out, and with the fluid will come any air. That's the point, there's supposed to be no air in this system at all. Those little air bubbles can compress and cause a little bit of movement. I did mention it to John and he was far from impressed. He was like, we're not using that. We're not gonna use that. So uh, we'll have that fight in a bit. Should just slide in, John. Should just slide. Go off people, Dom. That's what I read in the manual. We've been friends just Slide straight time, in. <laughs> no? This could, be, this could be a breaking point for us. <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna do it? Do you wanna do it? I've just saved the day. Basically, John was getting all, all upset because he couldn't fit it in. I loosened the six bolts holding the pedal box. That's now given that some movement. And now you're about to watch that slide out of the way and Receive. the ABS pump just drop in the slot. Seamlessly. And John chose not to film any of me actu <laughs> actually working on it. Well, so, but we'll it, it happened, it we'll, did happen. We'll... Hey, hey, John? It's John. in the hole, it's not, <laughs> John. It's not the right way round yet. You put it in, just, it's not my fault you've put it in upside down. <laughs> Have you got a better suggestion? <laughs> it's in. Look at the joy on his face, look, look. <laughs> That's gone. The servo, brake servo, assists the brake pedal, so it's puts extra pressure so you haven't got to push hard. It multiplies the effort. I've just been underneath there, yeah. bolting the six bolts back on for the no, pedal no. box. Again, completely off camera. <laughs> it's very one-sided, this, this uh, relationship is. Uh... <laughs> it's very important when we put it in that that little pin there shoots up here. 
Yep, no, absolutely. Loads of things in the way, which is good. That's it. That definitely went in there. Hey. Blimey. That's all the way home. It's fitted. It's all in. But now we get to use my super pumper brake bleeder, which I'm very excited about. John, I know you're excited yeah, to hey. use it. Yeah? Yay. I'm interested to see. It might it's such be a, a life game changer for me, Doc. Such a liar. Such what? a, such a bad really liar. looking forward to using it. Okay, well, let's use it then. That on there. Oh, I am. This scared. is going to change your life, John. A little decompression, bro. Yeah, exactly. This is awesome. Ten, ten pound. One, yeah. <laughs> ten bar. One bar. <laughs> yeah. Two bar. Three bar. <laughs> all of it. You can't put it all in. Go on. There you go. Well, you got one bar. Yeah. Is that what you're stopping? Right, so that's pressurised now. That's okay. pushing the fluid through and around and up the way. I understand. Now we need to Crank use off. the other pot. Okay, hang on, there you go. What? Where do you want to start? Sample pot. I don't care. Start anywhere. If that end flies off, I am going to cry. Wow. There she goes. Oh. Dom, can you see it? Yes. I got it. Add a bubble. There's an air bubble, see? It's working, I can hear it. Oh, oh there it look. is. There it goes, look, it looks like a jukebox. I'm backing it right off now, look, I'm getting a bit confident with it. Oh, 10 out of 10, John, well done. Okay, I've undone the bleeding, it wasn't. There she goes. Look, this is gonna change your life, John, isn't it? I actually. If, Isn't this it? Carries, Admit it. if it carries on like this, I'm quite impressed. Where are they coming from? Oh, they're probably coming from halfway around the master cylinder, the brakes. Oh, there you go. Look, we're coming through clear now. Look, no bubbles. Yeah, yeah. okay. Brakes are officially bled with my super pumper. Endorsed by Johnny. You hear that? <laughs> Endorsed by Johnny. Look at that smile. Look, we have changed his life. It was good. And I think it's time to see if it starts. Which is worrying because this is where we start to get into brain issues and seeing if there's any fault codes or any lights on the dash oh. uh, or if it even starts. Yeah. <laughs> that ABS light usually stays on until you start driving. When you start rolling, it goes out. Well, let's go for a roll then. Let's roll. Let's roll. Hooray! It's gone! It's gone! Look at that! Oh dear! Smooth. That didn't break. Oh, yeah, they're nice. That was barely yeah. touching it, yeah. Very sensitive. No well, the drain cover in this will be no problem. Oh. <laughs> Wendy, do we look? Oh, that was a steering box! <laughs> we smashed it into a manhole cover. <laughs> John was egging me on, got to get it no, in third gear. No. Oh, all these roads are rough. Cool. It was like, uh, Make sure you hit the manhole. I gave in to the peer pressure. Surprise, Dad. Oh, there it is. Look there it. it is, that evil, evil drain cover. That cost us a lot of money and pain. Well done. Here we go, we've, we've got brakes. Look at us. We didn't Fix need it. to break that brain after all. No, <laughs> we could have had a... Ready, hold on to your lunchbox. Oh my God. I'd say the ABS was, was working then, it was kind of yeah, munching. Yeah, that right? was munching under your foot. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 10-4. That's a right, and that is that. We've, have, we haven't put you through the pain of fixing the door lock, but that is fixed. The brakes work better than they ever have. Um, John has been converted for my yeah, super pressure bleeder, very the good. Pressure bleeder, very good. The super pumper, or whatever you want to call it. Job done on that. The tiger's done. The mini ranlers are pretty much done, apart from the lower wheels, which are in the works. We are ticking jobs off. Um, I feel like it's about time we start something new, don't you? Oh, always, Dom. Always. Can never have enough on the go. Another project? Yeah, oh, another project. We've got in mind. Well, 
what have you got in mind more like? Let us know. Leave us a comment below. What do you fancy us starting next? <laughs> just have a look around and just pick, <laughs> pick something off the shelf. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've maybe have learnt a lot. I certainly have. Uh, we've all learnt a lot. Not yeah. to buy a Defender. Not, don't buy a Defender. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you next week. Bye-bye.